What's up everybody, it's your host Claire Jagoon, and in today's video guys, this is going to be uh, part of my Community Spotlight or Clan Spotlight series, and I'm going to take a look at the Clan Dragons Rejects. Now of course in this war, they uh, this is a league war against Forbidden, uh, and they lost this war. You know, everybody wins and loses at times, but this, uh, this video is basically just to showcase uh, some of their talent at Town Hall 9 and their interesting attacking methods. Because each clan I cover is like a little microcosm. And they have different uh, styles of attacking methods and different niches. And I like seeing it. Uh, each, like I said, each clan is, is totally different uh, in how they operate and, and what, what works for them. And in this clan, uh, I'm going to show you some of the interesting styles as we go right here. And let's start with Zed. And right here, Zed is rolling a go wee bow, a stoned go wee bow. And guys, this is an old, old attacking method. It was just a go wee, uh, and then the bowlers were added to make it a newer method. And guys, it works like a charm. And Zed, he does a six pack with this method, but the next one he does is even cooler. But we're not going to talk about that. We're just going to look at this one now. So right now, Zed is just making that funnel creating that funnel to get into that base and guys this this is all about the push through the base with this attack um it's uh, he's got two healers to it that he's holding though i'm just kind of curious oh there it goes and he's putting the healers on the golems which is so fascinating and that golem um this is called a golem walk by the way guys um i've actually done this attack before so he, he's not even using his third golem to tank in the core he's using it to run down the side now he's lost another golem with healers to the outside of the base so that's gonna put his attack a little bit in jeopardy because he's only got a golemite tanking in the core but right now his King's ability has been used and as you can see there's not much left uh, in the core to take him on so if he could pop Queen's ability and bring in uh, these balloons he has to take out some of the last ADs. He or not ADs, I'm sorry, but uh, defenses. He'll be GG, and he's already GG. So he ain't even popped the queen's ability, and this base is a wrap. Let me speed it up, cause it's over. Love seeing these types of attacks. This is so cool. By the way, Zed, very, very cool, very cool indeed. And so the next attack I'm going to show you again by Zed because this is the same attack but with a queen wall. And I was just like, man, that's so cool. So instead of using his, uh, his healers on the golems this time and letting them just kind of uh, being, you know, healed and roll to the base, he's going to do a queen walk with this one. And I'm sure the queen walk is going to lead into the funnel and into the push in the base. All right, there's the CC pull. Oh man, those little goblins, our goblins are, are tough, man. Zed's like, nah, I ain't pressed, man. I ain't pressed. Here comes that rage. There's his first golem. Second golem. Where's that third? Here comes the bowlers. There's the third right there with some wizards backing him up. And this moves very similar to an avalanche, guys. This attack is very, very reminiscent of an avalanche attack. But there's just not enough golems um, in this attacking method to be an avalanche. But as you can see right here, he's got a great core push. He's got a couple of these... Uh, uh, these hogs to just kind of clean up some of the trash on the outside. And that they're doing a great job of that. And now, unfortunately, the healers have jumped off of the queen onto the golem. And they're going to die. But it doesn't matter because it is over for this base. 
Excellent attack, Zed. Nice six pack hype for you, bud. So now we're going to take a look at number 25, and that is one of this YouTuber's uh, favorite attacks indeed uh, the Grundinator. Let's take a look at this. And the Grundinator basically is a Queen Walk on one side and a Pekka Walk on the other, funneled into a Mass Valk in the core. And see, I use the uh, baby drags to kind of cut off the funnel. And just look at how beautiful this attack is being laid out. Really nice. Nice, Michael White. Very patient. Your queen is in a bit of trouble. Let's see if he's going to have to phase. Oh, she's she is close. And Michael White is cool as a cucumber. He does not get in concerned. He just holds on and looky looky. Oh man, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I would say at some point here, uh, Michael needs to heal those bouts because they are becoming a little tattered at this point. But he saved the heal, he's not concerned. And let's just see, I mean, he's just letting them kind of walk on the outside. The healers are still going. I guess he feels like nobody's really in danger at this point. Guys, he might swag. Oh my god, he is swagging. Boom, now he went ahead and healed. That was close. I thought I, I smelled a swag. I smelled a swag right there. Alright, we're gonna go to 27, and this is by chance. And it is a stoned. Oh, wait a minute. I only see two golems. Well, no, it's a, a queen walk to shattered. Oh, no. It, uh, well, yeah. Queen walk to shattered. Gobo Laloon. And he just tried to use a couple of his balloons there, but that... That did not pay off too well. So the, the Laloon portion of this attack is going to be pretty thin, guys. There's not a lot of balloons left. Here comes that Hound. Yep, there's the balloons. One on each object here, one on each defense. Boom, 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 and they are done. And I like this attacking method, by the way, guys. There went the hound. Ah, he's so a little bit late on that, on that haste. Great job, though, Chance. Very, very impressive attack. And for my last attack right here, guys. I have got a queen walk to Vaho. Yep, there's nothing much after that. Uh, so it's just Falks and Hogs with a queen walk. That's very similar. This attack is very similar to a queen walk to Mass Hog. But the Valks are going to add a little bit more diversity to the attack and a little bit more versatility to the attack. I'm just kind of watching uh, Juggernauty go here. And I'm kind of curious. At, at, it looks like to me maybe that he's going to go after the Queen with the Valks. But he does have a Skelly spell, guys. There's a Skelly spell there. And there's the King and the Valks. And yep, he's definitely going to be going after the Queen with those Valkyries. Wow, he's committed a heal too. Very, very interesting. 
So he's planning on getting a lot of value out of these vouchers. Queen is in danger. Her ability has been used. Now let's look at these hogs. He's got to get this heal right. I, I think, I mean, honestly, he needs to save it for the expo moat. And he splits the difference there. Drops those, uh, the skellies on the Tesla farm. And just like that, this base is a wrap. Let's speed it up, guys. And, and like I said, these guys over in Dragon's Rejects, these are some really cool Town Hall 9 attacks. And I like bringing them to you, and I like doing uh, kind of a clan spotlight of some of the clans that I cover. Because I just want to show them some love, guys. That's all. If you're interested in joining uh, Dragon's Rejects, you can find them on Twitter. Uh, they've got a great Discord, and they're a great group of guys. So, And they're also in the League Play as well. And if you guys are into that, you can look them up. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed watching this clan spotlight, and I am out of here.